This is the coolest scenario I have ever seen. Like really, this came right out of like 16 year old me's fantasies. I like a magic world like joining ours and then the military having to fight them. That is just so cool. It can set it up for so many awesome scenarios. And I'm interested to see how they manage to fuck this up. <laughs> because I do think they're going to end up fucking it up. And I'll be interested to see how, basically. Because <laughs> it can't be as good as I'm expecting it to be, I know that. This first episode just got me super hyped. Everything was awesome. Like, the only thing I could see coming that's going to be bad is obviously the harem mode activating. <laughs> like our main guy is really chill and relaxed. He's not particularly awesome or cool as we do get in several other anime. He's a pretty normal dude and quite an otaku. And yet somehow we already see in the opening there's got to be the three girls from the other world and the one girl from his world who are all over him. And that thing really does annoy me in harem anime. Like I really prefer one or two girls, maybe, to fall in love with one dude. Or, same in Otome's, one or two guys. I don't expect every person who meets one guy to fall in love with them. It's just unrealistic and it just feels a bit pandery and I don't like that too much. So we'll see how bad it gets with that, but so far it just looks so cool. Like, <laughs> when the fantastical people started coming in on their dragons, that was amazing, and then they came in with like the massive shields and they had orcs with them and everything was so cool. And then they started killing the humans, like mowing down all the civilians and it was like, Jesus Christ, this is insane. And then our main guy like stabbed one in the neck, like the first guy to actually try hand-to-hand -hand combat against them. Oh man, he was a badass. I did not see that coming. <laughs> yeah, it was just really... Amazing. It was the kind of thing that I imagined all throughout my teenage years as being such an awesome scenario because I love things where there are like linked worlds between a magic one and a normal one. Like Digimon, where they were continuously going to the digital world. I love that movie where eventually the Digimon world like invaded their own and then they had to fight it off and there were like hundreds of Digidestins suddenly. That was so awesome. And I love things like this, where the worlds kind of combine and clash and have fights. It's awesome. I can't wait to see what they do with it. So yeah, just everything is my kind of thing for this show. And I really don't want them to mess it up. It's been so cool this first episode. So yeah, I don't really have much else to say. It's just such an awesome scenario. We haven't seen too much other than that. The main character is funny as hell. <laughs> like, Hundreds of people are dying around him and he doesn't care. He's just annoyed that the doujinshi event got cancelled. He's such a super otaku. And I kind of love that. Because, like, we're used to those kind of characters by now. Like, they appear in just about everything. Just as a self-insert kind of character for the otaku who watch the show. And that's great and all. He's not a particularly annoying kind of otaku. He's a normal kind of dude. He gets a bit preachy about it, but other than that, he's cool. And I like how he doesn't really want to do anything. He just wants to chill and get his weekends off and watch anime and buy his doujinshi and chill. That's his whole personality. And he didn't even want to be a hero because suddenly now that he's a hero, he's got all this more responsibility that he has to deal with. So yeah, he is really funny. And we haven't actually met any other main characters except for his sidekick kind of friend who's obviously just going to be the second dude in the anime kind of position that doesn't actually get much screen time. He's just there to kind of be like, how are you so lucky with all the girls? Oh my god. Kind of moment. Which sucks. But if he does like get killed off for emotion, that'd be quite interesting. <laughs> oh god. But yeah, all I can really say is I'm super hyped about this now. Really hope it comes out really well. Not sure if it will. Like the fact that the only main characters from the other world that we really see that aren't bad guys. Is three ridiculously good looking chicks. Is kind of worrying. But again, I'll give it a couple of episodes to see how it goes. Hopefully it won't get too harami or too etchy. And even if it does, I'll probably stick with it just for the fact that it's military fighting magic. It's so cool. Really awesome. My kind of fantasy. 
So, <laughs> thanks for listening, guys, even though I didn't really say much in this at all. I'm just really, really hyped for this one. <laughs> so, yeah, like if you enjoyed this review. Subscribe for more if you haven't, and definitely leave a comment below to let me know what you think of this anime. Do you think it will do well? Do you think it will just be kind of stupid? Let me know below. Thanks for listening, guys. See you next time.